City of Port Clinton under a state of emergency. As John Muck explains, it's not because of current flooding, but because of all the flooding the city has seen this month. With a handful of flooding events in the last few weeks, Port Clinton's Lake Erie shore is battered, which has led to a lot of different expensive problems for the city to fix. Along Lakeshore Drive west of town, these large boulders have been hit with so many wave actions that some are now loose and impacting nearby utility poles. And the high water is backing up into storm drains. But the most noticeable problem visually is the city beach erosion. Much of the sand here has been washed away, leaving behind old construction rubble underneath. Well, that several feet of sand has disappeared and now we've got a, a bunch of old bricks and other things that, that are uh, Im impediment to gaining access to the lake right in this immediate area. The erosion has also exposed a conduit carrying a high voltage power line, so the beach is closed until further notice. Mayor Snyder hopes the emergency declaration will allow the city to get state aid to fix the various issues as the city's annual budget would not be able to cover all of the costs. It's our understanding through the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers that we're in a, a high water cycle right now. No one really knows how long that's going to last, whether it's, it's going to be certainly longer than months, potentially years, if history uh, teaches us right. So it's something we're going to have to deal with for quite some time. Mayor Snyder says that the state of emergency will be in place until all of these various issues have been resolved, and that could be months. Reporting from Port Clinton, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.